Potter World, not the Kevin Costner adventure from the 90s, but a new art installation at the Cornell Art Museum in Delray Beach. This sounds so neat. Our T.A. Walker shining a light on this temporary exhibit at Old School Square. Hey, T.A., good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, we're here at Old School Square. Maruska is here, and you have this World of Water exhibit, and there's audio sound, which is some art too, which is freaking me out because I'm not sure yes. if we're in a hurricane or if it's really raining outside. No, we have uh, David, David Rosenthal did a, an art piece for us, that which is sound, so it makes the entire exhibition immersive so that as you're walking through, you can hear the beautiful sounds of water. It's making me want to go to the bathroom, gotta oh, be honest. No, no. <laughs> Gosh, come on over here. Show her shoes because these match the flamingos that we're about to show you from the Palm Beach Zoo. These are those Chilean flamingos that are by the cafe. And and tell us how you TA. made this, because this can't be a scene of all just happening all at once, right? Looks pretty impossible, doesn't it? Thanks. Um, well, this is a conceptual photograph. That's my specialty, where I take hundreds and hundreds of images, and then I layer my images into these impossible scenes. And this is the Palm Beach Zoo. It's titled The Celebration. And uh, it's a soiree, and it's here, it's here as a part of this exhibition, and I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Sean, I think this is the flamingo that doesn't like me at the zoo. You remember my <laughs> photographer, Sean. <laughs> Suzanne Boyd is here. Oh my God, how are you? I'm great. So how are you? I, what is the Downtown Development Authority doing with this ex exhibition? So, um, the DDA recently um, signed an interlocal agreement with the city, which owns Old School Square, um, to manage and operate Old School Square. And part of Old School Square is the Cornell Art Museum. Um, Maruska Gatto, who you just spoke with as our cultural arts director, she He's running this museum, curating the art. I've been here 20 years. I've never walked in this building. Yeah. I walked past it. But isn't it I beautiful? I mean, the hardwood floors, the white walls. It was the original Delray Elementary School. This building was built in 1913. So it's got a good energy and a it good does. vibe. And then you put all this beautiful art in here. And it just, um, it really is fun. Free and open to the public, too. Awesome. Ashley and Holly, I want to show you the manatees that are in this room. It's from another that. artist that we're going to get to next hour. And there's really a, a statement piece they want to, there, there's a statement the artist is making, and we're going to get to that when we come back next hour. That's so awesome. TA, can you give us a quick look, that circular piece that was right behind Suzanne Boyd while she was speaking there? That was really interesting. Sure. Can you get a quick view of it? What are we Does anybody at? know That's about neat. this piece? I mean, Maruska. <laughs> Let me cross this in front is, of you. This is KX2 artwork, and it's a piece. Um, this, these artists are two sister artists, and they are primarily focused on the pipeline industry, water, um, showing how water looks inside pipes, and oh, wow. all of that. Um, it's all hand done, hand painted. Love that. It's amazing. Thank yeah. you. And then real quickly, Sean, I want to show you, all, there's the surfing Florida. They don't have a physical space, so they're using the Cornell right now. And I'm going to tell James Whelan about it so he can do a story about it. <laughs> we can't get it to, to it today, up. but it's really cool. Tell you what, there's been um, yeah. a, a big push to draw people back to old school square. So with an exhibit like this, it, it really could do the trick. It's so eye-catching. Yeah. Thanks, DA. Hey, if you have